So we're here with Chronic Customs and we've got Cara's Forester here. Unique little Forester actually this. Doesn't run a flat four, runs a LS motor in it. What I've got is our stage one sound deadening here on the doors. And now people ask us, do I need to cover the whole door? Where do I put it? Fundamentally, you need to put it on the outer door skin up in here. What I've done is put a couple of patches here just to show people these are areas where you've got panel residents. If you look up here, there's a lot of shape, you don't need to cover it. So we've cut up some sheets. We're gonna get these, feed them up in there and put them on the door. I'll just show you the rear door, which we've done. So you can see here, we've then gone and put our door restore kit in it. Now, you can see this was the original plastic that's been on and off a few times and it deteriorates pretty quick. So our door restore kit, we've put our dampening sheets on. They're underneath there, you can see them. And then we've put our sealant tape around and universally got our plastic, which is this here, oversized that and then cut it around. So I'll do the front door and show you how we install this. So we've put on our sealant tape, you can see we've gone right around the perimeter. Now something you need to be mindful of is door clips like this one down here, that you do stay inboard of it. So we've got our sheet which is oversized. Now we're going to offer it up, we put it on and then we're just simply going to trim back. So you can see up here, I've put a slit in this to allow our door rods for our door lock and handle opening mechanisms to come through. We've also got our wires here, so what we're going to do is just cut a simple slit in it. It's going to be big enough to pass all these plugs through. So we've got this positioned. We can feel up to where that is and then choose a spot here. Simply cut a hole and then you can pass through all your leads. So we've got our door restore kit trimmed around. Now there's a couple of areas here you can see where we've put slits in it. A nice neat way to finish these up is to just get some excess plastic and some sealant tape. You can just simply overlap it and that's going to stop any water or moisture coming through. 